Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this video which is an unboxing and a setup video for the Yogs cooling stand for the PlayStation 5. For full transparency they sent this product to the channel absolutely free of charge. There's a link in the description that's not an affiliate link, that's just an ordinary Amazon link. With all that being said, let's get on with today's video. The unit comes in black and white and it works with the original PlayStation 5. It does not work with the PlayStation 5 Slim. There's also a code in the description to give you 10% off. Before we look at the product, let's have a look and see who Yogs actually is. Well, it looks like they do a lot of VR accessories for the Quest 3, the PlayStation. It looks like they do handle accessories for things like golfing games or Beat Saber. They also do similar charging stands for the Meta Quest 3. There's not much in the way of artwork. There is an image on the front of the box just showing you what it will look like once all the accessories are attached, like your headset, controllers, and discs. It's also a controller charger as well well and it will fast charge two controllers within two hours it's got overcharging over voltage and short circuit protection as well to protect your controllers once at the box you can see it's a single plastic construction there's no assembly to do as such on the left side of the product there's space for 12 playstation 5 games on the right that's where you're going to put your two controllers just place that on there and it will start to charge straight away there's also a screw included which will bolt to the underside of the playstation 5 to keep it nice and secure on the base. There's hooks for your headset which will hook onto the top of the PlayStation 5 and included is the cable that will power this unit directly from the PlayStation 5's USB port. You don't need to plug this into a wall socket. On the rear of the unit you've got the USB-C input which will use the supplied cable to power the unit. On the side of the unit, you've got a standard USB output as well as two USB-C outputs. This is ideal for charging extra controllers or headsets. With the PlayStation 5 being the size it is, this is the most safest and convenient way to fit the base, turning the PlayStation 5 upside down and screwing in the base from the top. Once tightened and turned over, this is what the unit and the PlayStation 5 looks like. It adds some footprint to it, but that also makes the PlayStation 5 a little bit safer. It's not going to get tipped over once it's attached to the base. Using the supply cable, this is what it's going to look like to power the unit. Once the PlayStation 5 is up and running, you can see it gives a temperature readout on the top of the unit. In terms of buttons, it's very simple to use. You've got a fan control and you can go between off, low speed and high speed. There's also a button to turn the RGBs off at the front. And once you attach a controller, you can see the display for that A or B controller turns orange. There we have the unit fully dressed with all the games in the slots, two PlayStation 5 controllers, two headsets, everything's up and working, the fans on, keeping the PlayStation 5 nice and cool. The description on Amazon says that this is the only unit to display a real-time temperature gauge and using this unit it will cool your PlayStation 5 down by 8 degrees Fahrenheit between 15 and 20 minutes. I think it's a nice little unit. I like the way it tidies everything up. I also like the way it adds that extra footprint to your PlayStation 5. It means it's not going to get knocked over wherever you store your PlayStation 5. So if you're looking for a way to cool down your PlayStation 5, keep it cool and store all your extras, this could be the option for you. But that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.